Hello, this is Amir Torho with Cadence. I'm going to discuss integration of PCI Express VIP in UVM environment. First, let's look at some highlights of PCI Express verification IP. Then we look at a typical UVM environment and how we can integrate PCI Express VIP agent into your environment. PCI Express VIP has been extensively used in many projects to help customers with a stimulus generation, compliance testing, and a lot more. It has broad support of PCIe specification, including Gen 4. Let's look at a typical UVM verification environment, which could have multiple agents to stimulate the design, collect coverage, and perform self-checking using a scoreboard. In this demo, we will show you how to integrate PCI Express verification IP into your UVM environment. In multi-layer verification components such as PCIe, multiple agents are put together under one UVM ENV. For instance, for this DUT, which is an endpoint, we will have an active root complex and a passive endpoint to monitor the responses from the DUT. Now let's see how this gets integrated in a UVM verification environment. First, let's look at our UVM agent, CDN PCIe UVM agent, which is extended from UVM agent and has monitor, driver, and sequencer as any other UVM agent. You can use this agent as is and start your verification, or you can have some modification or customization to it, like what I've done here, added two memory instances for it, uh, so this is CDN UVM user agent, which is extended from CDN PC PCIe UVM agent. Let's now put together our verification component, which is going to have one active root complex and one passive endpoint. So this is what I showed you in this slide. So after instantiating the active agent and passive agent, we need to do some basic configuration and we need to create the agent. This is for active one. You need to do a similar thing for the passive one. Okay. Before instantiating this verification component in your UVM ENV, I would like to point you to UVM configuration class to configure the VIP. As you know, there are many features and attributes that need to be set for a PCI Express VIP. So there are two ways to do this. One way is the graphical interface called PureView, which allows you to select one by one the features and also checks the consistency of the features. Another way is completely through UVM, like it's shown here. So basically you extend this UVM configuration class, which is extended from UVM config class, and you set attributes as you would like. For instance, setting the Gen3 to 1, also I'm specifying this is a root complex. Since there are so many features and attributes, one could make a mistake, and upon running the simulation, our VIP is gonna check for consistency of these features. Now we have this configuration set, let's go and instantiate our verification component in a UVM environment. Okay, this is our system verification environment. So first thing, we instantiate our verification component, which has the active root complex and passive endpoint. We also need, obviously, virtual sequencer. In addition to those, we have to first instantiate our UVM class configuration, one for active, one for passive. All right, so we need to create the configuration class and use the UVM mechanism to set their values. And from there, we go ahead and create our verification component and our virtual sequencer. I have already put this thing together and run a brief simulation. As you can see, there are some transactions go through the bus and our uh, sequence uh, finishes successfully. This is a brief demo which shows the uh, integration of PCIe VIP in UVM environment. To get more information, please feel free to contact me. I'm Amira Torha at incisive underscore VIP at cadence.com or visit us at cadence.com slash VIP. Have a great day.